going on y'all not the real will smith another for your mammy hey 2023 kia soul s model today we are going to be replacing the cabin air filter kia wanted to charge us 50 dollars for this and i told my old lady my girl that i'm going to replace it for her for a lot less you can get these at walmart for 20 bucks 20 bucks or go on a friend website that i showed you guys earlier and you can find out what number is your specific filter and just get it from anywhere but i guarantee you it won't be 50 bucks unless you get like a uh, performance air filter that's reusable like canaan so the only tool you need you really don't even need a tool you can use your hands if you want but i have just vice grips i don't even have my toolbox on me this is the only tool i have in this vehicle because when you open up the glove box this is the only clip that needs to come out and I can't do it with my hands. So before I do that, I'm gonna clear everything out of here. So when this comes down, it won't knock all the contents off the floor. When you have the vice grips or it doesn't even matter, whatever clips you have on there, squeeze them together and you're gonna pull this little line out. I didn't see it, but pretty much it would come off like this. Once this is off like that, you're gonna look in here and you'll see it's a little groove right in here that this is holding in on one side and the other. All you're gonna do is pull it out like so, like I did here. Pull it out to your right. You're gonna do the same thing on this side. Pull it out that way. And it'll come down like so. This in turn opens this up for you to be able to see the housing for the cabin air filter, which is right here. This whole piece right here, if you notice, is two clamps, one here and one here. You're going to squeeze them like so, squeeze down like so, then pull it out, boom, just like so. Now you can go to dealership and you can get a filter, sure, but for my fuel, excuse me, for my um, money conscious people like me, I'm pretty cheap. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it myself. I like quality parts, but I don't like to pay labor. Now, you replace these every, I'll say 10 to 12,000 miles. We actually have, I think a little over 14,000 right now in a dealership. Uh, last time they did um, my baby's oil change, they told her that it needed to be replaced. So I'm looking at it right now, and I'm gonna tell you guys if it does. I have not seen it yet. And actually, by the way, if you wanna to go to the dealership, this is the part number right here. All right, airflow always goes down, the arrow pointing down, okay? Even says down, <laughs> that's cool. So it is kind of dirty, it does need to be replaced. I actually do have AC running right now, so let me actually cut that off. I don't want nothing to get in there. No pollutants. All right. Opened up the frame box right here. Give you a little diagram on how to do it, but that's what I'm here for. I've done this before on our 2012 Kia Forte. It's not much uh, difference, except that it's less work to do this one than the older ones. Pretty much what I told you guys. Unclip it from the sides, it drops down, you access the housing and you're good to go. You can see the directions right here. Boom. So when we pull this out, obviously don't keep the wrapping on there. You're gonna see one side that has nothing on there. You wanna see another side that has something on there. If you notice, airflow goes down, right? <laughs> you don't notice anything on this side. So you always want it to be facing the side that has the digits. It should be facing you when you put it in there and airflow arrow pointing down. Like in here, it's like so. Again, excuse my videography skills. I do not have my tripod today, so it's gonna be a little sketchy. And you gotta wiggle it a little bit because this is actually not the stock one, but once you get in there, it'll be all set. Okay, in there all set. So what we're gonna do now is just put it back in place. This side to the left, 
this side to the right with the little clippies. Put it in there like so. Kind of like a door. Simply gonna push it all the way back. Gonna hear the little clip and you're all set. Gonna pull this back up. This right here is simply just a dampening tool. Prevents the glove box from just slamming down like so. Just gonna put this back together. Let me see if I can do it like this. Between my legs so you guys can see what's going on. Man, it's terrible videography. All right. Push these back in place. Like so. Push that back in place. it put the contest back in there and you're all set as usual make sure you guys like and subscribe ntr underscore will smith for more how to's i appreciate you guys see you later peace